for Oral Roberts, the first baseman hitting 318. And he takes a fastball from Pace for strike one. Jackson Pace, a freshman fielder in front of Cox that had the game winning hit. Yeah, and Jonah Cox mentions a lot of his success goes towards the guys around him in the lineup in this super regional. Bouncer over the mound and through, and a start for Oral Roberts, and the leadoff batter is on. And it's ball four, and there's two on. And that one hit up, they're loaded. For Matt Hogan. In the air, shallow left. Tanner Smith charging in, makes the catch, tagging and bluffing. On the ground is short. Drew Cowley to Gavin Grant. Not in time to first, and a break for Oral Roberts. Drew Cowley had trouble with it at shortstop. On the ground is short, Drew Cowley. On to first, side retired, Or Roberts gets one. Venture coming up for the Ducks is Brooks Fowler makes start number 16. He's 9-1 with a 3-1-1 ERA. Nishida leading it off. And a lineup that has hit 99 home runs in Oregon program record this year. Last Saturday against Vanderbilt as Fowler blows the fastball by Betcher to God. Here's a ball in the air to right center field, racing over Matt Hogan, and it's up against the fence. Trickles away from the outfielders as Cowley hustles into second base with a two-out double. You gotta love Cowley's aggressiveness, being ready early in the count. Ball four, and there's two on. Because Smith swings and a drive to right. Matt Hogan back. Warning track. Go! There's a specific reason why he decided to come back and play. He's used to seeing this. On the ground, backhanded at short. Mac McCroskey throws out Drew Smith. Yankee Stadium on the first pitch here in the top of the second. An ambush from Drew Stahl in a single to center field. <laughs> Got him. Jackson Pace. Change up the bottom fell out. First strikeout for the freshman righty. There's two gone. And scored in the first inning and he lines his pitch back up the middle in the center two for two for McMurray stopping at second is stall pays the three one and there's a bouncer to second Gavin Grant fields and he takes care of Quinn and escaping his last win against South Dakota State on the ground to second scooped up Blaze Brothers, routine play, as he leads off the third against Jackson Pace, and a chop over third, and that'll be an infield hit, and we can move Jonah Cox up the list. Leader, 58 consecutive games with a hit, and Jonah Cox hit by a pitch in the first inning, sitting on 46. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw down to second, and out of time, and Jonah Cox steals the bag. But Matt Hogan down on strike, second strikeout for Jackson Pace, one away. Yeah, a really good jump there by Cox. At second base, Pace the pitch, on the ground, through the middle, into center. And diving in, now getting up and breaking for the plate is Cox. The throw skips past Bennett Thompson and down to second. Goes Mac McCroskey and it's a one-run game. Strange sequence, but it works for Earl Roberts. Ground ball to third, Sabine Ceballos. And the nice dig at first by Jacob Walsh. Got to remember that these guys got to take care of business in the classroom as well. Liner to right center and Ceballos a two out hit. And he is aboard for Tanner Smith. And that's a really nice job of Ceballos. Two strikes swing. For regional now. Tanner Smith, high chop, gets past Jake McMurray. Flag down, Blaze Brothers to the back on Friday. As Pace misses outside and a leadoff walk. And that one hit him. And that's the second batter that's been hit by a pitch. Second appearance this weekend for Logan Mercado. He threw three scoreless innings in game one standing in. Ground ball and he beats the shift as Oregon was changing up the middle. Around third, Jacob Godman will score. Three for three as Jake McMurray ties the game for Oral Roberts. Being ready, you get a reliever coming out of the pen in Mercado. Bunnett 
Mercado bare hands, throws to first, safe at first base on a close play. And he caught Oregon by surprise, and that loads him for Oral Roberts. Tied him up, and Mercado gets the strikeout. Ball four and walks in a run. Oral Roberts goes on top. Who came to Oral Roberts? Now, he was a high school shortstop. And he played in the infield as a freshman, then they moved him to catcher. Bouncer could be two. Diving stop. Callie steps on second, and that's all they'll get. Even though he was cheating up the middle, he still wasn't able to field it smoothly. He had to dive for it, and he does get the glove on second base to Forrest Hogan. Another run is in, and it's 5 3, Oral Roberts. Way ahead. Runner goes. Ground ball near second base, handled by Gavin Grant. Side retired. Throw up some zeros, but late, if you're giving up homers, that's going to hurt you. And it Thompson in a quick inning. I mean, he's really succeeded this season. Locked him up there. Called strike three. Second strikeout for Mercado. First pitch, sky to the infield. Jacob Walsh calling off Mercado. And a one, two, three, fifth. Off the fifth. Pulled through the left side, and Gavin Grant with a single to start the home fifth. He's tested it. I don't think out at second base. Trying to stretch it into a double and he runs into an out. And I understand the aggressiveness. You want to be aggressive. Line drive, right field, and Nishida with a hit. Able to get that fastball up there, 91, 92. Left fielder. This one will get out of play off the bat of Callick. No, it's caught over near the dugout. Strike three called as Mercado runs it over the inside edge. He chucked the bat away, thinking he'd drawn a leadoff walk. On the ground, Drew Cowley rifles to first. Got him by half a step. Years since Wake Forest was last of the College World Series, and they won it on their last trip in 1955. It's Caleb Isaacs, Ceballos fly ball center field. Jonah Cox back. I mean, this ball was absolutely touched. You saw this yesterday from Ceballos, his ability to drive the baseball to the biggest part of the yard. That ball sent to dead center east. Drew Smith pokes one into left. His 19th appearance on the season in the first this weekend. Pops it up, shallow center, and making the catch and tumbling, Blaze Brothers. It's a leadoff walk for Matt Hogan to start the seven. Here, they're the numbers on Dallas this year. And that's ball four. That's a walk from McCroskey. And it gets through the catcher, Bennett Thompson, a wild pitch. 6-4, Oral Roberts. High chop to short, charging at Drew Cowley. And he throws it wildly to first. And coming in to score is Mac McCroskey and Holden Breeze. Ends up at second base. Strike three call. Ran it back over the inside edge. Did he go? No swing on appeal. And Godman is on. Got him. Second strikeout for Matt Dallas. Line off of Matt Dallas. And it goes into center. Coming around to score is Holden Breeze, and Matt Dallas was hit by that line drive. And what a great sign to see Matt Dallas up on his feet. He would not leave him in there if he was not okay. Line to left, Tanner Smith coming in, makes the catch, side retired. And that's ball four and a start for Oregon at the bottom of the seventh. And there's ball four, and Oregon's got two on. Strike three call, top of the zone for Dalton Patton. Just a perfectly located pitch, nice job of Patton. K Park, and it's ball four and they're loaded. Got under it, fly ball center, runner's tag, catch is made, racing home from third is Gavin Grant. Doesn't matter, it missed wide, they're loaded. Swing and a high towering fly ball, playable and right. Matt Hogan waiting for it to come down. And also for the Ducks, a new center fielder, Malaris. Strikeout, one gone. 
And it's high, and he draws the one-out walk. Especially when you get this late in the season. Could be two. The flip. Drew Cowley, two, double play. Struck him out, elevating a fastball. And that's ball four. High bouncer to second. Fielded, brothers, hurries, and he gets Nishida by a step. Super regional, and Umlaut has pitched three and a third innings. Eight for Oral Roberts, and Holden Breeze lines it to left, racing back. Tanner Smith slides, and he makes the catch. Going back to the corner. That's ball four and a one-out base runner. There's a chopper. Sabine Ceballos looks at second, no play. Throws out Godman, and there's two outs. Hit by a pitch, and he gets hit by a second pitch. And it's ball four, and they're loaded. And you've talked about the freshmen that come out of this bullpen. And he walked him, and that brings in a run. It's 9-5, Oral Roberts. Second for the Men's College World Series. And one more spot on this side of the bracket. That's ball four, and he's walked in another. That's two runs here in the ninth. Oral Roberts or Oregon adding to their lead up 11-5 in the ninth. Knocks it first, and that one hit him. And that brings in another run for Oral Roberts, and it's 11-5. The Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year, Jacob Hughes. And this rally started with one out and nobody on, and the strikeout of McCroskey gets the Ducks out of it. Swings and a fly ball left field. Over toward the alleyway, Justin Quinn, a long run, and he makes the catch. And that's ball four, and Drew Cowley is on. And a foul tip into the glove of Godman. Categories. And taken second on defensive indifference as Drew Cowley scoots along. Line to center, and Tanner Smith with a single. They're going to wave Drew Cowley. He will score. And Drew Smith to third, scooped up. Holden Breeze to first, and for the first time since 1978, Oral Roberts is headed to the Men's College World Series. For the third time since this format's inception, a number four seed is through. Fresno State, Stony Brook, and now Oral Roberts will head to the Men's College World Series.